On March 16, 1988, my partner Jerry Cordova made basketball history when he first uttered his legendary catchphrase. Walter dribbles down the court. Barham drives the lane and lays it up. Put that dick in my mouth. That's good. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I just thought I'd try it out. Yeah, it's a great catchphrase. Good. Those words inspired a nation. Hey, Jerry boy, put that dick in my mouth. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hey, 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 ain't, ain't you that guy? The, the cock in your face guy. Yeah, you put that dick in my mouth? That's what I'm talking about. You the funny. I can put that dick in my mouth in the lane or put that dick in my mouth from beyond the key. What's your name, little man? It's Tyler. To Tyler, put that dick in my mouth. <laughs> Jerry Cordova. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. His phrase earned him millions. Man in deodorant. Put that dick in my the mouth. Chores vacuum cleaners. Put that dick in my mouth. Try egg whites. Put that dick in my mouth for this Mother's Day. But then one word changed everything. Wilson throws it in bounds. Reed takes the shot at half court. It's good! It's good! Put that big black dick in my mouth! There was no room for that in a post-Obama world. We go now to former basketball announcer Jerry Cordova, who's about to address the Black Southern Baptist Council. When I first used the phrase, put that dick in my mouth, it was roundly embraced as a fun catchphrase that exemplified the spirit of the game. But when I said, put that big black dick in my mouth, I wrongly introduced race and reopened some old wounds that date back to the Civil War. I... We won't ever forgive you. Hey, sweetheart. What can I get for 20 bucks? Put that dick in my mouth. You're under arrest. No. And in no. the end, the phrase that brought the world to its feet brought Jerry to his knees.